Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neomer here, and welcome to Root, a game of Woodland, Might and Right. Now, this is actually a digital version of a board game. Um, and yeah, every now and then I like to share some of these digital board games. Like I showed you Terraforming Mars so far, and now we're gonna show Root, and I don't know, in the future maybe I'll show you some more. I actually don't have a lot of experience with this one, so we're gonna be doing the tutorial here. Uh, should be pretty fun nonetheless. It's like um, it's a, like a tactical strategy kind of war game. Like uh, it's asymmetric with different factions. Each one has their own thing going for them. Anyhow, let's click the tutorial here and uh, right. So let's uh, start with this one, which is opened. The rise of the Marquis. Learn the basics of playing root. Okay, fair enough. Let's go. Welcome to Root, a game of warfare and adventure where four unique factions struggle for control over the vast woodlands. Well, actually, I think there's way more now. They made a lot of expansions. I only have the base game here, though. Continue. In this scenario, you will play as the ambitious Marquis the Cat. Long before they became the military industrial powerhouse they are over today, the Marquis came to the forest with a small band of warriors and a few modest buildings. I hear the flapping of wings in the distance. Move quickly to establish your hold on the forest before your feathers foes, the eerie arrive. Feathery foes. Goals. Rule 5 clearings, 2 out of 5. Move a warrior into a neighborhood clearing to expand your rule. Okay. Move. Select warriors to move. Okay. Select a clearing to move to. Can I see the whole board? Right. Okay. Well, I don't know. Let's move there. Okay, okay. Each clearing has a suit representing the community of creatures living there. Mouse, fox and rabbit. Excellent. Because you have more pieces in that clearing than any enemy, you rule it. Okay, cool. When you use the march action, you get to make two moves. Make another move now. Well, let's take another clearing, I guess. Wait, it says this one is ruled by me. Okay, we have... But why would it be ruled by me? I don't know, let's move there. Oh. Oh, they want me to move here. Okay, that's fine. Let's end our turn and rest. We have a big day of building ahead. Okay, sure. Your sawmills generate one wood at the start of your turn. Wood is used to create buildings. Let's build a recruiter to get more warriors into the forest. Select the build icon. Choose a clearing to build in. Sawmill or recruiter. Each one of them requires uh, one piece of wood and they also give you one victory point. This clearing is Perfect. Pay one wood to build a recruiter. Sure. There we go. Use the recruit action to place a warrior at each of your recruiter buildings. Okay. Spread out your warriors to rule more clearings. So we got one warrior here. We got two warriors here. We got two words here okay we got the recruiter here and there and we have one more action here to do okay well can I do any clearings it seems like we can what happens if I move the last one well it's not can I cancel it okay uh, oh boy, interface, a little bit gimmicky, 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 okay, let's go down here. Bam! As I feared, an eerie warrior has seized a nearby clearing, they aren't friendly to outsiders. After three actions, the day has finished for the mighty Marquise. Okay. 
and then we get reactions back and so on and so forth. Uh, it's just a tutorial explaining some of the base actions. The enemies do not just plop up like that. They have their own base and their own ways of how things work for them. Uh, let's start... Let's start by building another recruiter, maybe? Oh, next recruiter costs two instead of one. Right, uh, let's uh, then instead, let's see, cancel that. Uh, let's uh, build, oh, first it choose a clearing to build in. Let's say we build here. Let's build another sawmill. There we go. And now we're gonna be getting more of those. Okay, then let's see, recruit. Good, and then let's move. I'm gonna send people here. March your warriors into the clearing occupied by the Eerie to challenge them. Defeat all Eerie warriors, right? Why can't I move? Mmm, that's weird. There's some kind of rule preventing me from doing that. Okay, I can move from here there. But for some reason I cannot move from here. Oh, wait, there's no pathing. Oh, these two are not connected. All right, all right, all right. Well. Um, we'll do that. Go. Our warriors will surely triumph over these wild birds. Select a battle. Select battle to fight them off. Okay. Good. <laughs> so this is just a dice roll. In battle, two dice are rolled with side 0 to 3 to determine hits. The attacker has the advantage. They take the higher die, leaving the defender with the lower one. Each player can deal no more hits than the number of warriors they have in the clearing of battle. Excellent, your advantage as attacker lets you take the higher die from the fight, so we can do 2 damage and they can do 0. For each hit an enemy piece is removed from the map, starting with warriors. Your total hits are added up and displayed below. Alright. It's pretty simplistic kind of thing. Oh, destroy the roost. The Eerie have built the roost that can recruit more of their warriors. You must attack and destroy it before their flock becomes too strong. Right, uh, so I'm gonna move. I wonder, I have to move one cat at a time it seems like. Oh dude, like the screen is a little bit awkward. Okay, then we can move another person. There we go. Good, and now we can choose fight. And we're gonna fight the enemy roost. It's defenseless, so we automatically win. Oh no, we actually have to roll. Your enemy is defenseless since they have no warriors to protect them. This means you get to deal an extra hit. Okay. Right. So you're always guaranteed to at least destroy one building. Extra hits are not limited by the number of warriors in the clearing of battle, so a single warrior could deal multiple hits. Okay. Right, I'm gonna assume this will be the end of the tutorial. Well done, you've destroyed that rose. The forest is ours for now. I usually play co-op games, not huge fan of competitive board games, but like, if they are made into a video game, then all of a sudden they're interesting to me for some reason. <laughs> the Long War for the Forest. Learn to play the Marquis the Cat. Okay, I guess we're gonna be playing like the proper uh, proper game now. The invading Marquis the Cat wishes to exploit the woodland, using its vast resources to fuel her economic and military machine. She scores victory points by constructing buildings in the woodland. 
In a typical game, the first player to score 30 wins. This scenario, let's see if you can get to 12. Okay, when you start the game as Marquise the Cat, you place your keep in one of the corner clearings. Okay. The keep is the cornerstone of your kingdom. Enemies may not build or place pieces in the clearing with your keep, but they can move there. Place your keep now. And the game wants me to place it up here, sure. The Marquis army greatly outnumbers the other factions. You start with a warrior in every clearing except the one in the corner opposite to your keep. That clearing is eerie territory. Finally, you must place one of each building in the clearing with your keep or any adjacent ones. Finally, you must place one of each building in the clearing with your keep or any adjacent one. Oh, they're gonna do it for me. To speed things up, I guess. The Eerie have swooped in and built a roost in the empty clearing. It's quite well defended. Okay. At the start of daylight, you have an opportunity to craft cards from your hand using workshops. You may review the text of cards in your hand by holding your mouse over them. Review Arms Trader now. The cost to craft a card is shown on the wooden board below its suit. So this is the suit, this is the crafting cost. Each workshop contributes its clearing suit towards paying crafting costs. Each workshop contributes its clearing suit towards paying crafting costs. For example, you could craft this arms trader if you had two workshops in, in fox clearings. Okay. You can craft smuggler's trail since you have a workshop in a mouse clearing and it costs one mouse okay so this is a mouse clearing and we have a workshop here so we can uh, make the sm smugglers trail okay we get a bag and a coin okay so what you just play it like that okay cool and we get that thing, I don't know what that is. Uh, crafting the Smuggler's Trailer rewarded you with a victory point. You're now on your way to 12 points. Go. Right. After crafting, the Marquise can take three actions. The Marquise also scores victory points when building. You can only place buildings in clearings you rule with available building slots. Um, okay, this one is very, very damn close to the enemy, though, dude. Like, how about here? Nope, okay, fair enough. Workshops allow you to craft cards in your hand. Sawmills produce wood to help you build more buildings. Recruiters, as you know, help you recruit warriors. So let's build a recruiter to bolster our defenses. Okay, and now I get it. Now that there are two recruiter buildings, you can recruit two warriors with a single recruit action. Hello there, kitty cats. Move your warriors to the front lines to defend against the Eerie. So here, I suppose. You may now move any number of warriors using one march action. Let's move to... Oh, okay. So it's not one by one. So you can move uh, from two clearings to two clear... Uh, from one clearing to another clearing two times. Remember, when you choose to march, you may make two moves. Use the second move to keep closing in on the Eerie. To move, you must rule either the clearing you are moving from or moving to. This can make it tricky to move deep into enemy territory without a substantial... Substantial... Substantial army. Substantial army, right. 
Okay, okay, it auto ended the turn for me as well. During evening, you draw one card. You can draw additional cards by having more recruiters on the map. Okay, let's review the phases of your turn. Oh, there we go. Marquis the cat. Field hospital. When a warrior dies, you may spend a matching card to return them to the keep. The keep. Only you can place pieces in the clearing with a keep token. Crafted items, a bag. Okay, we got 12 car cats. We have two cards. Here you can see the victory points you gain when you build the buildings. So the first recruiter you build, you get one point. The second one you build, you get two points. You also grab another card. All right. With summons, you increase the number of wood production. Production. Right. Bird song. Place one wood at each sawmill. Daylight, first craft, second, take up to three actions, battle, march, recruit, build, or overwork. So you can choose any of these three times, some of them multiple times. Evening, draw a card, plus one card for each uh, card earned on the recruiter track, then discard down to five cards. Okay. Eerie Dynasty's turn. The Marquis the Cat is an upstart, the lineage that of the Eerie Dynasty's will surely retake the forest. Okay, not sure how smart it was to place my people right next to its camp. Now, I would not do it in a normal game. I don't think so. Because he can attack now and... Okay, he's playing some cards. The Eerie are assigning actions to their decree. Each faction has unique capabilities and their own way of taking actions. Can I see what they did? Alright. So, this is their decree here. The Eerie may not look like much yet, but their ever-growing decree will allow them to take more and more actions each turn so long as their leader stays in power. They found a weak link in our defense, prepared to fight. Well... Okay, we actually killed the bird here. Okay, and they killed my kitty cat. No! And they built another roost. Okay, they get victory points by building roosts. It's my turn now. We may have lost the fight, but as long as your keep still stands, we can heal full warriors with the field. Hospitals. Okay, discard a card that matches the suit of the clearing where your warriors were defeated to return them to your keep. Favor of the mice. Remove all enemy pieces in mouse clearings. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so I get the the cat back. Okay. You can leave your special abilities unique to your faction, like field hospitals, by tapping on your avatar. So yeah, that's this one here. When a warrior dies, you may spend a matching card to return them to the keep. Okay. Good. Don't retaliate just yet. Build two more buildings to keep gaining victory points. No cards to craft, press continue button. Okay, so this is like the, the morning, right? Or whatever the call, the game calls it. The the bird, no, the... Oh no, it's daylight already. The bird sang with it. Okay. Well then, sure, I'm gonna click the button. Build another building of your choice. Mm. Dude, what if I disagree with that? Okay. Let's see what kind of cars we have here. Woodland Runners. We had a... I think the most logical thing would be to like... Build... Uh, since we only have one, one wood income. To build another sawmill, right? Can I build another sawmill where I already have the sawmill? It seems like I can. Is it like a smart idea to like have all the sawmills at the same spot? Probably not. Let's build one here. There we go. Good. Now, we could use more wood for building. Let's use our work to push a sawmill to produce more wood. To use our work, you must discard a card matching the suit of one of your sawmill clearings to gain a wood. Cards in the bird suit act as a wild and can be used in any place of any other suit. Okay. Choose clearing to overwork. Let's overwork. 
Now I don't understand if I had if I had two sawmills, would I get two wood? Excellent, you have enough wood to make another building. You may spend any wood on the map connected to the clearing you wish to build in, so long as they're connected by cl by clearings you rule. Okay. Build a second building to complete your goal. I'm gonna build another recruiter here. I don't think I can build a recruiter though. Yeah, I can only build the workshop. Okay, so this one to be played requires what? Foxes. Okay. Let's see. What is this one? A bunny? Where are the foxes, dude? Fox, fox. These two are foxes. And this one's a fox. This one's not the one I wanted to build it in. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna build it like here. Okay. Tap your avatar for more building info. As you build more of a particular building type, its cost increases along with the victory points it earns you. Okay. You're out of actions. By discarding a wild card, you can take an extra action. Looks like you haven't recruited yet this turn. Let's do it with your final action. Sure. Ambush. Oh, that's what we drew. Okay. More warriors arrive each day. The Eerie will use them to crush your pitiful forces. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude. That's like... The Eerie have entered turmoil. Could not move from a bunny clearing. Wait, what? Continue scoring points to defeat the Eerie by destroying the roost, constructing buildings and crafting items that reward victory points. So basically, the game... The game the re reset the... Okay, are we done? Okay. Uh, so basically, the game reset their dynasty. So... They have these decrees, which tell them what they need to do. So this one tells them they have to place a warrior. This one tells them they have to move. This one tells them they have to battle. And this one tells them they have to build. And then they have these cards below. We're going to be playing the E-Rate uh, like tutorial. And then we're going to figure this out in detail. So I just don't start explaining this from my uh, like memory. But anyway, they, they just got bonked hard because they didn't do all their objectives. Let's call it like that. Right, uh, so, okay. What's this? Ambush. You may ambush in a fox clearing. At start of battle, defender may play to deal... May play to deal two immediate hits. Cancel if attacker plays matching ambush. Okay, we can ambush in fox clearings. Interesting. Well... I think being bloodthirsty here might be useful. Attacker always gets the advantage. Yeah. I feel like fighting here. Let's see. So next turn they will they will recruit and then they will battle. Okay. Re place a warrior at the roost in a matching clearing. Okay, this one is a while, so they can place it anywhere. Okay. Um and I think they also like at the start of the turn at the start of the turn I believe they add two more cards here so they'll probably be able to do more things. What's their points? I don't think it really matters. What's my points? Five. Okay. Yeah, let's do a battle here. So we're gonna roll two dice here, we're gonna take the bigger one. And that's gonna be the result. Wait, what? Oh no, the defender gets a better dice. What? Wait, 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 wait. Did I remember that incorrectly? Defender gets better dice? Or maybe this is like... Eerie Dynasty is charismatic. You place two words, not one each time you recruit, okay. Lord of the Forest, you roll any clearings where you are tied in presence. Disdain for trade. When crafting items, you score only one victory point. 
I don't understand. Maybe the Fender gets the advantage. I'm not sure anymore. Okay. Anyway, we got two more actions. That was a disaster, by the way. <laughs> actions remaining to... Oh, Ambush. Discard a matching card for Field Hospital to return two warriors to a keep. I mean, sure, I guess. Yeah, why not? Meow, 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 meow. I guess let's keep... Let's... <laughs> let's... Uh, let's stick with building then. Okay, we're gonna build another sawmill here. There we go. Choose an action. Let's uh, recruit, I guess. Yeah. We're gonna need more cats after that. What just happened? We can undo the move. Okay. Hmm. Root T. Okay. Move the Cree. Okay. And then they created a move decree and a build decree. So they get four actions now, I believe. Okay, they move from there down there and they're gonna be fighting here. Let's see. So we're gonna roll two dice here. Oh, wait. No, no. You just. You just to roll two dice and what happens, happens. But like something in the tutorial said, something I didn't quite understand. You rolled a number that was higher than the number of warriors you have in this clearing. That means the hits you earned for your die roll were reduced to the number of warriors here. Right, so we can't uh, attack two times because we only have one ca cat. Okay, so we kill one of them and they, they kill one my dude here. Okay. They build a roost, right. My turn. Dude. So we could craft here if we have the mouse clearing uh, workshop, and we do. So, sure, let's craft. That's two points. Hmm. No cards to craft. Press continue button, right? Choose an action. I can build. So there, there. I'm gonna build maybe another recruiter here. There we go. And then I think I'm gonna recruit to bolster my forces here. I mean, I have two recruiters here. There we go, four, three, good. Once per turn. Okay, we can only do this once per turn, right? Now I can march or not do anything. Um, I'll march. I'll march this one here. And... I mean, they could technically move twice here and attack something very dear to me. So they recruit anywhere, then they move. Move from mouse. Then they fight anywhere and then they build in the in the fox clearing. Okay. So they can move from mouse clearing, okay. Oh, they technically, if they put a fox move, they could move here and then they can move there. And then they could fight here, I guess. I should maybe... Is it dangerous? Wood tokens, right? Used for buildings, right? It would probably be a bad idea to leave the place undefended. But like... They cannot move from bunny. Well, they could. If they put like move from the fox and the bunny... Yeah, I don't know. I'll move like... I'll move like... One. So we have two people there. No, let's do it like this. So they cannot destroy the fortress or whatever. I don't know. Still learning the game. 
Okay, they played a card, another card, the crafting, okay. Okay, they are recruiting. And they are moving from Fox, okay. But they didn't move all of them, just to interesting. Right. Oh no, see, it got swapped around. So why did why did it get swapped around? The ear have entered turmoil. Yeah, this is just a tutorial, so they're failing their deck building a lot. So they already got into turmoil twice. And yeah, I guess now we win. We should just like build anything or craft anything. Okay. But if we build another building, we should just win. So we'll do that. Choose a clearing to build in. Uh, I don't know, another sawmill. And that should be it. We are 14 points and the game will be like GG. Yeah, I didn't understand the whole attacker defender advantage thing. How does that work? Tutorial complete. Okay. Right, uh, I'm gonna replay just until the point where p when the game was teaching me fight because there was some message there that I didn't quite understand. Oh, this time, okay, no, it's the same. Okay. Cool, right, uh, okay, right, 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 uh, okay, play that, cool. Hmm. The game didn't tell me what that bag is, okay. Oh no, actually, we, we, we learned about fighting in the first tutorial, wait. Yeah, we learned about fighting in the first tutorial. Birds of Feather, learn to play the Uber Dynasties, learn to play the Woodland Alliance, learn to play the Vagabond. Right, these are expansions though, okay. Yeah, let's go here. Hmm. Yeah, 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 right, right. Right. Move. Alright. Right. There we go. Do it. Oh, there. Okay. Tutorials on, ra on rails. Uh, we have a big day ahead of us. Yep, we do. Wood. Okay. Let's build a recruiter, sure. Okay, I guess you want me to recruit now. There we go. Spread out your warriors. Oh, this time you're not forcing me to do anything cool. I don't know. There we go. Okay, where's the Eerie warrior? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that one is random, though. It came. Okay. Uh, march your warriors into the clearings occupied by the Eerie to challenge them. All right. Select battle. Okay. Now, now comes the message, right? In battle, two dice are rolled with sides 0 to 3 to determine the hits. The attacker has the advantage. They take the higher die, leaving the defender with a lower one. Okay, so I did not misread that. So I don't understand. There was a fight. There was a fight where it didn't work like that. At least I think so. So yeah, I'll I'll recheck the fight. So basically there was this fight here where I attacked with three goods, dudes against the five. And um, yeah, and the dice is rolled two and zero and enemy got the, the, the two and I got the zero. 
even though I was the one attacking. So that was a bit weird. It could be that there was some kind of modifier, like maybe they had like defender's advantage for whatever reason, I don't know why, or maybe they played a card or something. But yeah, anyway. That's gonna be it for this first episode of Root, a game of Woodlands Might and Right. So we learned the basics of playing Root, we learned how to play Marquis the Cat, and next time we're gonna learn how to play the e I Eerie Dynasties. And maybe some more, depending on how long the video takes. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the Eerie Dynasties will be way more interesting. And like, uh, that will be my goal probably. Like, I wanna learn how to play Eerie Dynasties well, so when the guys play uh, Root at the board game place, I could play it. Uh, it's a really nice kind of, I don't know, plan ahead kind of thing. It's, it's cool, you'll see. Anyway. The, the Root, a game of Woodland Might and Right, the digitalist board game. Uh, it's a board game disguised as a, a wonderful, like, forest RPG story, something, something. But it's actually a proper board game. War game. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, then I would appreciate the like. And, you know, as always, check out some of my other stuff as well. If you find anything worthwhile, you might want to subscribe. That would be amazing. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and do some nice things. And be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. The new Mer signing out. Bye-bye.